Okay, let's add some EQ and compression to the backing vocals. I'm just gonna copy over my setting from the lead vocal track for now. And let's just uh, start by listening to one of these. I'll pull up the volume on them a bit as well. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. Yeah, so we probably don't need as much of the low end. Um, I can probably pull out more of the bottom end. We don't need quite as extreme of an EQ curve here. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. Okay, let's bring in the compressor here. Same thing, probably don't need quite as much uh, compression, although I am gonna go 100% on the backing vocals. We don't need the transients to cut through in the backing vocals quite as much as we need them to uh, in the lead vocals. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was. I can't read your heart when you needed me. In fact, let's go a little bit harder with a short attack. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was. Let's try some different circuits here. I can't read your heart. I can't read your heart when you needed me. I can't read your heart when you needed me. I can't read your heart when you needed me. Yeah, I think the studio fets a little tamer. I can't read your heart when you needed me. And then let's copy that over to the other four tracks. So I'm just gonna go up here to the channel strip setting. I'll select copy channel strip setting. I can drag over those other three tracks and I can select paste plugins only. I can't read your heart when you needed me. The upper vocals may not need the same EQ though. I can't read your heart when you... Yeah, we're not gonna do that upper uh, boost, but instead what I'll do is I'll do like a kind of like a broad, wide band uh, boost to the mids and the mid highs. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how I... Sounds a little funny now, but uh, in the mix, it'll blend in. I can't read your heart when you needed me. Let's take care of the transients in the falsetto vocals. I'll do that by pulling the attack time all the way down. Although sometimes when you go all the way down to zero, it doesn't work out so well. I can't read your yeah, you get some distortion on there. So let's, I guess we have to roll it up a little bit. I can't read your let's pull off the distortion here too. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on tearing through your tragedies. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. Okay, let's put all of these in a track stack. So I'll go up to track, create track stack, or you can press shift command D, and this will put the selected tracks in a folder stack or a summing stack. We're gonna use a summing stack for this because I'm actually going to add an additional stage of compression here. Um, so I'm just gonna add one more compressor on here. And in this one, I'm gonna use the vintage VCA as a bus compressor. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just... Let's turn off the auto gain. I can't read your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on tearing through your tragedies. I took the brunt of your shame and all your misery. It's just a goddamn shame. Quick attack, quick release. Really the main goal here is just to make sure that we're kind of taming the transients uh, overall. I can't read your heart when you needed me. 
That's just how our love was meant to be I keep on telling never tell me why Cause I don't want, I don't want to know I carried your heart when you needed me That's just how our love was meant to be I keep on tearing through your tragedies I took the brunt of your shame And all your misery It's just a goddamn shame That you cannot see All that is good for you Is just as good for me I gave you Yeah, it sounded pretty good um, But let's add some tuning to the backing vocals. So instead of doing this, you know, note by note with flex pitch, um, I'm just going to use Logic's built-in pitch correction plugin. You can find this under pitch, and then here it is, pitch correction. This is gonna be the first plugin on each channel strip. And what we're working with here is the key of C minor. So I'll set the root note to C. I'll set the scale to uh, natural minor. And then your main controls here are your response time and your tolerance. Response time is pretty much the same as the retune speed in other pitch correction plugins. This determines how quickly a note will be corrected or more specifically, how long it takes for a corrected note to get to its destination pitch. With a slower response time, you'll get more of a natural tuning, whereas with a faster response, you'll get a more noticeable auto-tune type of effect. The tolerance sets a zone around the destination pitch where no pitch correction will take place. So for example, at 14 cents, this means that if a note is within 14 cents sharp or flat of the destination pitch, it will just be left alone and not tuned. Whereas a tolerance of zero means that all notes will be tuned, even notes that are already very close to their destination pitch. So rolling up the tolerance a bit is a good way to have the pitch correction plugin ignore certain frequencies that are already pretty close to their destination pitch. Whereas if you want all notes to be tuned, you can roll this down to zero. The neural pitch detection automatically senses the range of the material that it's trying to tune, so it'll sort of sense the range of the singer for you automatically and adapt its settings, whereas if you turn this off, you can manually choose between a normal pitch range and a low pitch range. So I'm going to go with the neural pitch detection, and I'm going to use a pretty slow response time because I don't want a lot of tuning on this. I carried your heart when you needed me That's just how our love was meant to be I keep on tearing through your tragedies I took the brunt of your shame and all your misery So let's copy that over to the other tracks So let's just move down our compressors Let's move down our EQs and we'll hold option and copy that over. And once again, let's just hear everything soloed and then I'll put it back in the mix. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on tearing through your tragedies. I took the brunt of your shame and all your misery. It's just a goddamn shame that you cannot see All that is good for you is just as good for me I gave you everything and you left me in the cold Yeah, so you can get away with using some quicker response times on the falsettos And frankly, they need it and I also pulled up the filter here a little bit, changed up the EQ curve just to make it a little bit simpler. We really don't need to pull out any mids because there's not really much mid information in the falsettos to begin with. So let's hear what all of that sounds like starting somewhere here in the first verse. I, cause I don't want, I don't want to know. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how I Shame and all your misery. 
And one thing you have to be really careful about with bus compression is if you start messing with the levels of the tracks inside of the track stack, that's going to throw your bus compression all off. Because if I increase the volume here, now we're going to get more compression because more signal is going to be passing the threshold. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on tearing. So any adjustments I need to make to the, the backing vocals as a whole, I'm going to have to do from the track stack volume, or I can like increase, you know, the gain here, the output gain in the compressor or any other plugin that's on the track stack. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. I keep on Your shame and all your misery. It's just a goddamn shame that you cannot see all that is good for you. I don't know. The clip distortion actually kind of smooths things out a little bit. It's a really subtle difference, but I think I'm going to keep it on the clip distortion there. I don't want, I don't want to know. I carried your heart when you need. That's just how our love was meant to be I keep on tearing through your tragedies I took the brunt of your shame and all your misery It's just a goddamn shame Okay, so in the next video, we are going to move on to adding time-based effects to both the lead and backing vocals, including reverb, chorus, delays, things like that. Things that can really bring out uh, these vocals even more and enhance them and augment them uh, beyond what they already are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.